All right, guys, today we're unboxing the new EinScan Rigil from Shining 3D. Now we're gonna go over this thing and in all its details, it is a blue laser scanner, infrared scanner, full color scanner, wireless scanner, and you can even tether it to a computer for extra processing power. But if you wanna see all the details, go check out our other video where we break the entire thing down. Now today, I'm gonna to show you what exactly you receive in the package when you order at visionminer.com slash scanners. You can see all the different scanners we have there. And this particular one, we include a couple extra special things like these scanning markers that we make here and the scanning spray. And for you pre-order specials for the first month, you will also get an accessory box of a whole bunch of accessories. So if you're in the first month, make sure you get that and that's just a great deal. But for now, let's dive in and see exactly what comes in the box with the EinScan Rigel. All right, okay, so foam inside the cardboard. That's even more than usual. First things first, we've got a charging block. It looks like 65 watts with two USB-C connections and the microfiber cloth. And then we can take out the entire case here. And let's just see if there's anything else inside. Nope, that is, <laughs> that's it. Okay, so let's check out what else we get. Let's go ahead and unzip this. No pouches on the outside or anything. Okay, so here we go. Obviously we see the scanner itself here. Just ready to go. You get two battery packs. Now these are 2160s, so you can buy these online and you could have plenty of extra batteries. Really good move, Shining 3D using industry standard batteries. This is fantastic to see. Okay, and in here, looks like we have a USB-C cable. Yep, nice thick quality cable with a nice little Velcro strap there. And you have a regular Nightcore brand battery charger. Now it comes with a supplied cable here, which is a micro USB. So you wanna keep those together, but those will be charging the rechargeable batteries. You have the calibration board stand and the stand for the actual scanner. So you'll notice if I set this like this, then they've included this little slot right in here and this little ridge compared to the old calibration board holder and it just sits right there very nicely. Just good little utility. They changed the injection mold a bit, great feature. Next we've got marker removal tool, nothing special. So we've got a USB-C to USB-A converter, just a little thing right there in case you need it. And of course, scanning markers, a variety of scanning markers. So we've got the little ones, three millimeter, and of course a ton of six millimeter, it's probably at least I'd say probably two, 3,000 of these in here. And then on the other side, let's see what's in here. The calibration board. Oh, we do have the packing list, of course. So you've got the battery, the stand, calibration board, power block, cable, battery charger, the USB-C to USB adapter, markers, marker removal tool, and the packing list and cleaning cloth. So we've gone through almost all of this. Let's just find the calibration board itself. Comes in a nice, little case. Ooh, they even got a little strap for the carrying case. So you could, you know, treat this like a briefcase and just carry it around like this over your shoulder. Let's check out the quality of that. Cool. Okay. They give you a little pad and it matches the style of the case. Not bad. And then of course the calibration board in its velvet case. Just looks like that. It does have a plastic sheath around it. So you do wanna keep these things nice and clean. Uh, it won't really affect the calibration performance, but you really wanna make sure that the markers don't get messed up. Not super easy to mess up, but you know, you wanna be careful with it. And uh, this board actually just goes onto the calibration thing, just like that. 
So in our operation and calibration video, we will show you exactly how the calibration and everything works. Uh, but for now, that's everything that comes in the box. When you buy it at visionminer.com, you can see all of our 3D scanners, our 3D printers, and a plethora of engineering materials. This is our specialty. Now, why would you buy this from Vision Miner and not online somewhere else or anybody else? The main thing really is the support. With every scanner and every machine that we sell, we take the personal relationship of the business very seriously because nobody likes calling up a corporate company and being treated like a number and yes, please hold, okay, thank you. Hello, sir, how can I, you know, it's just like, we answer the phone, we use these machines every day, we support them and we can help you learn to use them as well. Now the best thing about the Ion Scan scanners is the software is super intuitive. Anybody can pick one of these up and learn it in five to 10 minutes, no problem. The training is practically non-existent. And then of course for post-processing, we offer a full gamut of software like Geomagic Design X and Control X for inspection, as well as programs like X Model that are specifically focused on reverse engineering if you don't have a ton of CAD skills already. So the full gamut for inspection and all that, we've got it all here at visionminer.com. Now, just to wrap this video up, let's actually slap some batteries in there and show you the boot up screen. And then we will film the next one so we can show you exactly how this thing works. As you can see behind me, there is a variety of automotive parts and different objects that we're gonna be scanning. So make sure you subscribe to see that video when it comes out and see exactly how well this thing stacks up to something like the HX2 or the H2. Uh, we do plan to do head-to-head -head comparisons because the specs on this actually seem very comparable to those two units, plus being wireless and uh, untethered. But in actual practical use, this is only $5,000 and those are five to $10,000. So is this really just as good as the HX2? Spoiler alert. No, not quite. It does have most of the same technology and the same abilities and the same streamlined approach to everything. But on the professional units like the HX2 and H2, you have a much larger field of view, which means if I'm scanning with this, it's gonna have maybe an area that big it's seeing, whereas an HX2 would have a much larger area. So you still do get more speed and efficiency and higher detail with the professional scanners. But frankly, I think this is gonna cover most customers' needs when it comes down to that. Because when I talk about accuracy and detail, we're talking fractions of a millimeter. So small that it's practically negligible. So let's check this out real quick. From unboxing to startup in no time at all. Sweet little boot up screen, beautiful graphics. You know, Rigel or Rigel is actually a star and uh, Shining 3D names a lot of their uh, scanners after stars, like the Vega, the Einstar. I mean, come on. So the uh, Rigel is the pronunciation they've given us. All right, so we set up in English and then agree to the EULA. And then you can connect it to a Wi-Fi network or skip. And here we are, it's got some tutorials, so it automatically shows you right up the gate. Here's the different modes you have. Here's how you set resolution. Here's how you change brightness. Here's a good methodology for scanning and scanning people, the data quality indicator and showing or hiding the color texture and a variety of other menus. And then you just hit get started and here we are, ready to scan. So we're in laser mode and I can select infrared mode right there. And then here, come with me, Matt. Let's just start going up to things and you can see it's already previewing. So this is the preview. Now this is where you would basically set your scan path. I wanna see everything I'm going to scan before I start scanning it because then I know how easy or difficult things are to be picked up. So you can see like this black mat with the infrared is kind of having some trouble whereas the black keyboard is doing much better and then of course the white cans in the background are doing great. Anyway, we're gonna get into scanning some actual objects right now with this, so make sure you subscribe to see that video. And if you're interested in 3D scanners or 3D printers, we're here to consult and help your business pick the right equipment. So give us a call or shoot us an email, we're here to help. Anyway, thanks for watching, have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next one.